Hey guys, I'm here to celebrate my one year anniversary of having the Mars Hydro TSL 2000. I had this thing running for over a year, almost consistently, constantly, sorry. And uh, I got uh, quite a few grows out of it, all successful. And you know, sometimes I go to my, some of my local hydroponic stores and mentioned that I'm running a grow under Mars Hydro. They all look at each other and snicker, but hey, the proof is in the pudding. It's been running good for me. And like I say, this thing is a year old, almost to date. I currently have it up at 100%. It's only pulling about 300, 320 watts off the wall, give or take. Test it with my trusty spot on quantum par meter. Now, I normally run this thing about 18 inches away, 16, I say 16 to 18 inches away. I'm gonna start testing it at 16 and going up from there. Got the tape measure up. About one inch stopping that way. The board actually stops up in that lip there. Let's see what we get at 18. Yeah, it's about the middle. At 100%, we're at about 830. Give or take. You notice as you move out kind of falls off and stays within veg so I probably had a little further away but uh, let's go up to 16 get this thing cranking up to 900 20 ish and once again it falls off it should go to the sides front and back and I would never run at 12 especially not at 100 I don't run CO2 or anything so you can easily get this up to over 1000 Once again, this thing is over a year old, been running non-stop, almost. And then you get up into fairy tale land is what I call it, the 2000s. It's about 600, six inches away. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what this Mod Hydro still putting in work a year later. And this is one of the older lights. They still sell it. It's one of the few that didn't even drop down in price, but still doing this thing. I see why. All right. Thanks, y'all. Please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. See you next time.